Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. Do appreciate it. Today's beer, we got a hot butcher beer, hot butcher for the world. This is their Cool Bay. Jeremiah, thanks again, my friend, my brother. I do appreciate the beer mail package. Uh, I got kind of worried because I hadn't got anything from you in a while, and I'm glad when I seen this show up, I'm going, yeah. And I don't know if they're in their new facility now or not, guys. Uh, uh, so I'm hoping they've got everything working and, and, and lined back up and it's able to produce their own beers uh, so uh, and I hope the distribution increases so uh, it'd be super awesome if I s would see this on the shelf around here but again my beer store is closed and they're moving uh, locations and uh, they're, they're going to be closed for another month or so uh, they're posting pictures on Facebook and it's going very very slowly with all the stuff they're having to do to that new building so uh, don't know when I'll be able to go buy some beers around here and anyway this is a six and a half percenter guys uh, and the and hot butcher is located up in Illinois uh, Untapped commercial description is the same thing that's written on the can here, guys. This is a Nelson Sauvin and Southern Cross Hopped IPA. And on the bottom it says it was packaged on 0720-21. So, uh, July the 20th. So it's only a couple weeks old here, guys. So it should be very, very tasty. And uh, I thought they'd print up, started printing up the cans, but... Uh, the label is done very well. I mean, you can barely feel that thing on the top and the bottom where they've done it. So they're still putting those heat shrunk wrappers on there. So we got the ABV, we got the hops, we got the uh, canned on date. So uh, let's get it in the glass. Uh, looking at the pictures here, it looks really cloudy on the untapped site. So maybe it's a New England style. Very hazy coming out, guys. That's why I so look forward to getting beers from uh, Jeremiah and Hot Butcher because they do this style. I mean, it's like getting Treehouse or Trillium or, or, or some others, uh, Pariah, Vitamin C. There are so many of them that produce this style very, very well. About a finger and a half of head, guys, and look at that. That looks like orange juice in the glass. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, yeah. I'm not getting any light though, guys. Zero light. That is an awesome looking beer. To the nose we go. Very citrusy notes. I'm getting grapefruit, pineapple, tropical fruit notes, maybe some oranges. There's just a plethora of hop aromas. That smells fantastic, guys. I've been looking forward to receiving beers from Jeremiah and was hoping that he hadn't cut me off or did anything uh, or I had done anything to make them upset or anything. So I'm so glad that it showed back up again. Uh, the guys up at uh, Hot Butcher, they rock. They do. So let's find out, guys. Let's dive in. Cheers, Jeremiah. Cheers, everybody. Cheers to everyone. And hot butcher for the world. You guys rock. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So tasty. And I might be a little biased, guys, because I am a big fan of this style of beer. I mean, give me a New England style beer any day. If it's done well, like these guys do. Very enjoyable. I would buy this beer. I would buy just about 
I would, I ain't gonna say just about, I would buy every beer that they produced. I've never had a bad beer, just like Treehouse and Trillium and Pariah. I mean, they've all been outstanding, A beers anyway. Mm. So damn tasty. Well done. All right, guys. Story Swirl. Back in portal going in. I just got this in the mail today. Got them in the fridge as quick as I could so I could have one today. Received today. Reviewed today. And it's not super cold. It's only been in the fridge a couple of hours. But I had to get my hands on it. I had to get my lips on it. I had to get some in my belly. Yes, very tasty, guys. Well, let's go sip on it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for quite a while now. Very tasty beer. Uh, I say this just about every time I get beer from these guys. It's not because they're sending it to me, because they are doing so damn well, and they are very tasty. I would spend my money on their beer, guys. There's no doubt about it. They, because they are doing the style that I love. Uh, I mean, it's it's super tasty. Uh, I mean. <laughs> I just, I wish I could get their beers here. I would spend, spend all my money on it. Uh, so, super tasty guys. Even room temperature. Final chug. Don't want no drippies. I want it all to go in. If you're a hop head and, and you like this style of beer, you're gonna love anything these guys at Pop Butcher produces. It's just, it reminds me so much of uh, Trillium and Treehouse, which basically led to Pack uh, when they started producing these styles of beers. Uh, and so many other ones are, are doing them, like I named earlier. Uh, I just feel so blessed that Jeremiah is sending me their beers. I mean, it's super awesome. Uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, guys, to me, uh, I could just as easily give this a 10. It's everything that I'm looking for in, in a beer. It's got the ABV. It's got the hop on the front of it. It's got the date on it. 6.5%, uh, not to my 7% go-to range when I look, but I would buy this beer. It's close enough for me and have the taste that I'm looking for. Uh, 98 for me on this one guys. Uh, like I said, I could just as easy give it a 10. It wouldn't hurt my feelings a bit. Uh, it is so damn good. Uh, evidently it's a new new beer from these guys. Uh, Cause Beer Advocates only had a couple people comment on it. They don't have a rating. And I'm tapped uh, only has 612 people so it's probably a uh, a new release and they have it at 4.05 which is their A minus. I think it's a little better than that and that's why I gave it a 98 guys. Uh, and like I said, it would be just as easy for me to give it a 10. I mean, if you say it's a 10, I wouldn't argue with that one damn bit. It is it is that tasty. But uh, definitely worth picking up if you can get your hands on it. So, Cool Bay from Hot Butcher for the World. Uh, if you have it, let me know what you think. Can we meet again? Let's go see what's in the fridge.